you'll never believe this. We got two more. <laughs> There's two more? Two more what? Two more weddings, of course. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is wild. I did not think there would be a part three, but there is kind of a part three. Yeah. Um, but that's not what we're just going to talk about in this video. We're going to talk about two more weddings that happened, just really briefly. We're going to talk about a hot NWSL couple, and then we're going to do kind of programming notes at the very end. So timestamps down below. But what we're going to talk about first, we have two more weddings. What we mentioned in the last video, we said if there was other couples we didn't know about or if ones had been slipped through the radar, ones we don't personally follow, you know, let us know. So two people let us know that there was two more weddings that happened in the middle of June, the beginning of June. I'm not exactly sure about the weddings. June is starting to be my favorite month. I know, it really <laughs> is. It's like pride the and then that's for all love. the weddings. Yeah. Yeah. And I think... People like June also because it's warm, but not too warm. Well, that's why we, I think we planned our wedding to mm -hmm. be in June because it's now, because it wasn't, for, it, it wasn't like hot, hot. And then we also planned all of our vacations in June because, you know, it's not I like agree. where it's like, whoo, that killer weather. It's just like, you know. The first couple we're going to talk about is probably the one, it's a, it's a footballer wedding. Two players, two athletes, and it is about the wedding of Emma Byrne and Vicky Lozada. But first of all, we'll flash the picture we saw on Emma's Instagram. I mean, oh, I know. Look at that. Wow, they look dazzling. Yes, that, especially Emma's dress. I'm I'm obsessed with Emma's dress. This looks like fairy tale wedding it stuff. It does. Like. Um, and a little background, you know, Sarah and I don't know the, the, the these players very well. But we love weddings. But now that we know about them, we know about them. And that's what I love about this as well. Um, and we yeah, love weddings. It's, you know, we love it. For, you know, Emma is a is an Irish legend who played for the Republic of Ireland's women's national team for a record 134 occasions and served as captain of the team. Emma also spent 23 years as Ireland's number one keeper. So, I mean, she is a legend. And... She spent almost 17 years with Arsenal. Oh, my gosh. So she is an incredible. Irish legend. I bet everyone in Ireland knows her name. I mean, incredible. <laughs> she played for Arsenal for 17 years. Wow. Isn't that wild? That's amazing. Seven, yeah. Almost 17 years. That is wild. And then uh, Vicky Lozada. Lozada. She... Um, also has had a very, very prominent com career, played for Barcelona, played for Manchester City. She most recently played for AS Roma. She has played with the uh, the Spanish national team. She is a, has had a very successful career. From what I read, they met when they both played for Arsenal. Ooh. They met when they both played for Arsenal. The love connection happened. And the rest is history. Basically. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You got Irish, you got Irish and Spanish. Yeah, that's hot love story. I love that it, people combo. playing. Um, and then they had some pictures. It was on Emma's. Um, I did see this TikTok, and I'll play it in the back. But just beautiful, beautiful. Look at her dress. They're all standing wow. there. And then beautiful day too. Oh, that Emma's dress. I'm telling you, obsessed with it. Oh, I love outdoor weddings. Isn't that gorgeous. That looks like a lot of fun. Oh my god, a cake, <gasps> dancing, yes, snippets, gorgeous wedding, beautiful. A lot of people are super pumped for them, and they're you know, you know the fact that they met at Arsenal, you know, got married, and they've been together a long time, a long, long time. The other thing that I was quite thought was kind of interesting: Vicky is thirty-two, and Emma is forty-four. Whoa, whoa, I love those different age. I love that, don't you? Love an age difference. Yeah. And are they going to, I mean, I'm sure people who know this couple are, you know, are they going to, uh, are they going to be living in Ireland? Are they going to be living in Spain? I'm sure they'll have to live in Spain right now because Vicky is still an active player. Mm, yeah. But maybe long term they'll go to Ireland. I mean, they're both beautiful countries. I was so. going to say, how do you choose? Yeah. Well, I'm sure they'll have a house there, a house here. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I will say Emma's dress has been one of my favorites I've seen through all the um, footballers' weddings. I just love very romantic. It's a very romantic style. Yeah, 2023 is the year of wedding. Yeah, I really, and I love yeah, her I love hair. That. And I love her hair. It looks very... That dress would look good on you. Yeah, I like it. I like the sleeves. I love it. Yeah, they kind of look like royalty. <laughs> they do. Like, sound like she a has, actually, she has high boots, actually. How funny. Oh, you know love it. But gorgeous, gorgeous. So that's wedding number one. So then... Um, someone else was telling us another 
football legend got married and she, she married a non-footballer so mm. football wedding a non-footballer still exciting but um football legend nadine kessler hey everyone it's just sarah i'm doing a quick voiceover but um we got it a tiny bit wrong in this next part of the video so it made a little more sense that it looks like nadine and her wife had their wedding and their party this this month but they actually legally got married in january looks like she might have had like the legal ceremony or civil ceremony in january but had the big party and wedding with all her friends and family uh this month in june having a small just get your certificate of marriage and then have a party later when you have time and you know more free so we just wanted to mention that they did get legally married i'll put the picture on that was on nadine's instagram but also since january they've also had a baby so congrats to them i mean i can't i can't imagine how exciting this was uh such a great year getting married and having a baby all in all in the same year love that congrats to them so this next part yes they yes they had the wedding but it looks like they had already been like legally married in january um so congrats congrats on the baby so exciting so congrats to them and she got married and uh, Medina is a retired soccer star from Germany. Uh, such an accomplished career, such such a legend. I believe in 2013, she even beat the likes of Abby Wambach and Marta to win the female player, the FIFA Female Player of the Year. So she is a legend icon. She was a Euros champion. She won the Champions League three times with her team. Ooh, nice. Um but a couple people did post that they were at the wedding and there isn't a lot of pictures but um here's a picture of her and some of her old teammates and friends uh, beautiful dress yeah i love that dress and then uh there's a picture of their back i have one picture of their front i'll show you but look at that pretty Ooh, picture i like those dresses very pretty very, very pretty outdoor pretty. wedding and then we have and that picture of their front Ooh, of beautiful their dresses um she married her longtime longtime partner emily shaw and uh, emily does not seem to be a football person or a public person um but you know they have been together it seems like a long time and nadine is a legend a football legend and it's just so nice to see people who nice to see legends doing legendary things on the field and off the field. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> like point. Like getting married, you know. That's a good point. Like maybe there was no rush or maybe there just was perfect timing right now to get married. But she and her wife, Emily, have gotten married and beautiful. There wasn't as much about them. Maybe more Maybe more pictures will come out. Or, yeah. Or, or. Look so happy. So, so pumped for both of them. Like I said, did, did I think there was going to be part three of more weddings? No. But now there's going to be, I'm, I'm certain there's going to be part four. I was going to say, <laughs> just wait, there's going to be a part four. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm coming to up. it. Where's the, where's the part four? Um, but also, that's going to segue into what we're going to talk about next. Because we talked about Emma and Vicky getting married. And they met when they both played for Arsenal. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's probably a lot of couples we don't even know about or actual couples right now on teams. But one couple we did want to talk about is a couple that just scored a goal on the field one day ago yeah they had the assist and the goal we'll tell you who they are chicago red stars tatum malazzo and ella stevens uh, which is wild because i'll tell you what we were going to talk about them coming up maybe even in this video sarah and i sat down to watch the red stars game yesterday we're sitting down thinking about a video literally as we're talking about a video that we're going to talk about them on our video they scored a goal <laughs> i even think i was looking at their instagram yes i was you know and then uh, we look up and, uh, and <laughs> it was like written in the stars. Yes, it happened right in front of our faces. But that's the thing. They're, they're, in a, they're in a relationship. And I don't know if a lot of people follow their relationship or if it's like a big thing. I'm not quite sure. But I will say Sarah's kind of obsessed. <laughs> well, let me give you the rundown here, everybody. <laughs> let me break it down for you. Okay, okay. So I will give you everything you need to know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't study this. I'm not weird. Like I said, Tatum Malazzo and Ella Stevens both play for the Chicago Red Stars. And it is both their first club teams, their first professional teams that they've played for. Okay. I mean, they're, they're young. They're 25. Yeah. Yeah, they're totally. Both 25, so they have bright futures ahead of them. Absolutely. But yeah, this is their first team that they've played for. So Ella Stevens made her debut first in the 2020 NWSL Challenge Cup. And Tatum then joined the Red Stars in 2021, and she made her debut in April 2021. And here's how this wild story went down for me, <laughs> because I remember telling you about this, Sarah. Yeah, you did. Okay. On June 1st, the first day of Pride this, this past month, 
the Chicago Red Stars, they posted a picture of them together and with a pride flag. And if you go through these pictures, you can see, I mean, they're holding hands. A lot of players hold hands. Right. And, you know, it's just friends stuff, whatever. But I saw these and I'm like, that last picture kind of looks like uh, more than just friends. Right. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. A little too cozy. <laughs> and, right. Yeah, yeah. So I was like. Okay, I have to investigate this. I I have to see what's going on here. Because I remember seeing on our timeline, like on Instagram, I don't know, a while ago, or I don't know, a long time ago, I just remember seeing them together. And I thought, oh, okay, they're posting cutesy pictures. Right. A lot of the NWCL people post cutesy pictures. Yeah. I didn't think anything of it. I mean, I didn't think much of it. But I was like, oh, yeah, I wonder if they're a thing or whatever. You know, Mm -hmm. whatever. And so, and so, upon further investigation, <laughs> I mean, not investigation, upon the further inspection. <laughs> no. Okay, so going back in their photos, you can see that June 8th, 2022, uh, Tatum Malazzo posted <laughs> this glorious picture with this glorious caption. So, she, it's a picture of both of them kind of holding, holding hands, you know, and the caption says, hard launch hashtag good sportsmanship Ugh, love it and we know what that means sarah that's such like a, i mean it will forever be colloquially used as a relationship word it's it's in the it's in the ethos of what it means now and i love that yeah so i mean everyone knows what that means this was their hard launch as a couple and you can see like the comments everyone loves it yeah and some of their teammates commented nikki stan who's like friends with everyone everyone (laughs) she goes also i totally called this way back when (laughs) and she also goes here for this launch you know so everyone's commenting on it and they love it and that was the launch of tata manella yeah, I love that. it really was. And then you can see Tatum actually posted on June 8th of this year, if one more person asks if we are sisters, <laughs> and she put the, the picture of them, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm laughing because, I'm sorry, they look like they could be twins. They look very alike, very alike. Which is such a thing in the in the lesbian community. I know. You just start you date, looking like each other even more so. Yeah, or you're attracted to Someone who looks like you. Yeah, maybe. But it's common, but they look so much like each other, though. And like, I know, like, they probably are tired of that. Um, But at least they don't get are you mother and daughter like Sarah and I get. Because we've gotten that three times. <laughs> I thought I was the mother the last time. We've, we've gotten mother and daughter more than sisters. We got sisters one time, and then we've gotten mother daughter at least three times. So least- Okay, I don't <laughs> even get that. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, you look but, very young. But they do look like, and they have like a similar hairstyle. I think they wear their hair pretty similarly, and... Yeah, they're just, just like twins. You can see some of their pictures. Elle Stevens posted this. Back to work with Bestie. Hashtag oh. work wife. Oh, love that. And then, um, whoa. They're on a boat. I mean. I feel I like the Chicago Red Stars are really embracing them being girlfriends. Because yeah, you never know. It. You never know how the team will react to be like, you know, even though it is 2023, but sometimes it might be like, okay, it could be a distraction, but they're like all well, about it. I mean, it. the fact that Chicago Red Stars actually posted yeah. that and is like, you know, we're, we're launching that. we're launching these babes. Yeah, I love that. They have a lot of great pictures together. Oh, so cute. That is fun. You know, it's like like we were talking about Vicky and Emma, could we see Tatum and Ella be married in 10 years down the road and they met at Chicago Red Star? I believe that's where they met. And I bet being in Chicago, a bit being in Illinois, Ella gets to meet a lot of Tatum's family because they'll probably go to most of the home games. You know what I mean? That's true. But that is exciting. And, you know, they're, we're going to be on the lookout for them. Um, It's always exciting to watch them all. But seeing them score the uh, yesterday that we're we're recording the Sunday or they played on Saturday, but seeing them score on Saturday and she can remember how she jumped into her arms. Yeah. And and I feel like by the end they hit heads or something. (laughs) I think Tatum grabbed her head or something or. Tatum to have the assist for Ella and then Ella scored. Uh, I think that's the first time they did that. Yeah, because Ella scored, I think they said four goals this season so far. Uh, Something like that. But for her to have the assist, I love that. And so cute. And everyone loved it. You know, all the players are like, oh my gosh, this is so girlfriend moment totally totally Beautiful. love that so check them out if you if you don't follow the nwsl or you don't follow chicago red stars but you're looking for a 
fun new couple. <laughs> yeah, new couple. What does everyone think? What did you think about the two weddings? What did you think about the couple alert? Uh, also, we're going to talk about this on another video, but, uh, you know, World Cup. This is the month of the World Cup it starts. We're recording this yeah. July 2nd. The World Cup starts in 20 days or no, 18 days. The U.S. women have their their send off game. I believe that's what they're calling it. Then United States play their first game on July 21st. I think when it plays in America, our time, it's July 30, 21st, 9 p.m. Eastern time on Fox. So. What I, I haven't even talked to you about this, Sarah. Um, what my plan is, uh, we, I think what we're going to do going forward this month and going into the World Cup, we're going to do shorter videos, less edited videos, so we can get out as many videos as possible. Um, yeah. So that's going to kind of be the plan. Maybe not as edited, maybe a little bit shorter, but we wanted to have consistent videos, even if it's just thoughts of the day, what's going on for that day, what's going on. Uh, How do you feel today? Yeah. <laughs> I think I that's... Feel <laughs> so if they're shorter or less edited, I think that's going to be the plan. Also, um, the last few months, we haven't been great about comments on the channel or really in DMs. We haven't been that great, but I'm really... I've really been focusing, uh, gearing up for July to be the month where I just are so we're so focused on the World Cup. So yeah, what does everyone think? Questions, comments down below. Um, like I said, I might we might just do a quick video tomorrow about some of the media appear media stuff that the U.S. Women's National Team have been doing. I mean, they are everywhere right now. They're gearing up. It's always World Cup time where you see them everywhere. So much content on the U.S. Women's National Team YouTube channel and their Instagram when they they're doing this like this art show and stuff. We're going to talk about some of that coming up. Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to everyone soon. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.